Hi everybody and welcome to Building Armies. Building Armies is a new series of videos where I hope to look at different starter armies and army bundles and try to build different army lists using different rule sets for them. In today's video, we are going to have a look at RMA94 Han Chinese. The army list I'm building today is from SX Miniatures and the scale for this set is 15mm. All the rule sets here use the 40mm frontage for its basing, which makes it easy when deciding on which rule sets to use. So who were the Han? The Han Dynasty, according to Wikipedia, was the second imperial dynasty of China, established by the leader Liu Bang and ruled by the House of Liu. Spanning four centuries, the Han Dynasty is considered a golden age in Chinese history and influenced the identity of the Chinese civilization ever since. So, what do you get in this set? Well, you get HCH1, General in Four Horse Chariot. You get HCH4, Heavy Cavalry Lance. HCH5, Heavy Cavalry Crossbow. HCH7, Horse Archers. HCH8, Light Cavalry Horse. HCH3, Four Horse Chariots, you get two of these. HCH9 Halberdiers, HCH12 Spearmen, HCH11 Crossbowmen, HCH14 Foot Command. This army is actually quite strange as it actually does not have enough pieces to make a DBA 2.2 army. But if you want to build a DBA 2.2 Han Chinese army, you'll be able to put together this one. DBA 2.2 Book 2 41A Han Chinese 202 BC to 9 AD. To complete all the elements for this army, you will need to get a cavalry general figure. Essex recommends to get the HCH6. With the added cavalry general, you'll be able to build this army list as well. DBA 2.2 Book 2 41B Han Chinese 10 AD to 189 AD. Building a 2.2 army list from this list would make both the 4 horse chariots rather useless. For DBA 3.0, there is this list, DBA 3 slash 2 slash 41A Western Han Chinese Army, 202 BC to 189 AD. To have all the elements for a full army, you will need to add HCH2, a cavalry general. For peasant rebels, uh, the 5 horde, the convict labor troops of 7 horde, you could get uh, CHO 16 or CHO 17 or even CHO 18. You can also add XEQ 18 Chinese Stone Thrower, the Sitting Tiger Artillery, and HCH 13 Han Chinese Archers for the Siloy. For the Peasant Rebels and Convict Labor, you can mix and match between CHO 15, 16, 17, and CHO 18. Using the DBM army list from book 2, I found this army list. Army list 41, Han Chinese 202 BC to 189 AD. You can actually stack the 4 crossbow behind the medium infantry unit to get an 8 crossbow unit. This will give a more balanced list like this one. For ADLG, there's army number 117, Han Chinese. For this army, you can actually build an army with one horse core, one heavy core, and one medium core. The initiative for this is two 200 points with 22 units, 66 HP. I asked around and found myself on the ADLG forums and Matt Axman pointed me to this page of ADLG lists that he put together. And this one caught my eye because it used all the four horse chariots given in the RMA. I have left a link in the description if you want to view the details of this army. This list is a four commanders list and can bring the army up to 300 points. In conclusion, the ready-made army or RMA, Han Chinese, seems more suited to those exploring ADLG and DBM than building armies for DBA, whether it be 2.2 or 3.0. I did not have the feel of glory list for the Han Chinese, so that rule set did not get any video time. I would like to thank SL and Mad X Man for help doing this video. Mad X Man does have Amilis for ADLG, like I said, it's in the description. Go and have a look. 
I'm looking for some feedback for this kind of videos, so do send me some. Thank you very much for viewing, and again, help the channel by liking and subscribing.